And on today's episode of Amanda and Felix Eats, we'll be featuring some old school Chinese food and some new school Chinese food here in Kamuki's Market City. Don't be afraid, just order it, fat piece. Tell them I want the fatty piece, saw it on Amanda and Felix Eats. Chinese noodles or Chinese rice dishes, this is definitely a cool place to come. The thing about these is you can't stop eating it. And stay tuned for this video because you're not going to want to miss it. Let's get going. Let's go. And before we get into today's video, we'd just like to give a big mahalo to Harder's Hawaii for sponsoring today's episode. Harder's Hawaii is a family owned and run business who has been making premium syrups and beverages in Hawaii since 1933. And many Harder's Hawaii syrups are made in small batches using real fruit puree and only cane sugar. And they don't use any high fructose corn syrup. And if you guys don't know by now, Harder's Hawaii has been providing a lot of local awesome businesses with their syrups, such as Zippy's Lily Koi, Leeward Drive In, St. Louis Drive In, Green River as well and if you guys remember our Shiro's Simon Haven video we got the Green River and they are actually supplied by Harder's Hawaii so we got to enjoy that nostalgic flavor that even our grandparents our parents and generations before us have always enjoyed they even have limited flavors at your local 7-elevens in Hawaii Harder's Hawaii syrups are very versatile you can use it on almost anything you can put it on shave ice mixed drinks cocktails even bake them in your favorite dessert. For us, we personally use it to handcraft our own sodas at home, and those were amazing. And they have 60 plus new flavors, unique flavors that you guys can try at home. And by using our code Amanda Felix, when ordering a four pack Harder's Hawaii syrup, you can get free US shipping directly to you all the way from Hawaii. What? Free shipping? 60 flavors since 1933? And time for the unboxing. If you guys want to replicate exactly what we got from Harder's Hawaii, you guys can do it too. So we got the deluxe strawberry, which you can use on shave ice because that's what a lot of people get, strawberry shave ice. And lily koi. This is the flavor that they have at the Zippies here in Hawaii. So if you're craving that Zippies lily koi drink, this one's for you. Gotta get the Green River. Come on now, y'all. And lastly, but definitely not leastly, Li Hing Mui, because you gotta have some plum in your life. Be adventurous, do yourselves a favor, get harder syrup and enjoy them today at home. And guys, make sure you use our code Amanda Felix to get free US shipping on any Harder's four pack. Make sure you try them out. And thanks again, Harder's Hawaii, for sponsoring today's video. And now, back to today's segment. What's going on, Foodie Ohana? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Felix, that's Amanda, and we feature Hawaii's food scene. And on today's video, we'll be featuring a Chinese food tour here in Kamuki's Market City. And guys, I grew up going here, Market City, the original food lands here, and they have some awesome ono grinds here that you guys definitely don't want to miss out on. So we're going to be featuring some classics that we enjoy and some new things on this food tour. So let's get going because we are starving. Let's go. Let's go. So for our first stop, one of our go-to places for roasted barbecue, Chinese meat, and roast pork, Duck Lee. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. I swear, guys. Every time we come here, I'm always tempted to get even more than this, but we have another place to go after this, so we don't want to ruin our appetite. Let's go try out some Chinese barbecue and roast pork. All right, guys. So we just got the delicious barbecue meats from Duck Lee. It's actually one of our favorites to go to. They're not doing dine-in right now, so we're just going to quickly eat it, do a little taste test for you guys. And if you guys do end up coming here, make sure you order the fatty char siu. That's a pro tip. Trust us, it might be the best char siu you ever had. If you don't know what Chinese barbecue meats are by now, where have you been? I know you haven't been watching our channel because we feature a lot of these bad boys. And we got two today, our favorites, char siu and roast pork. So char siu is the marinated Chinese barbecue pork and roast pork is just the seasoned roasted pork, mostly pork belly. Oh, either way, oh God, this lady parking next to us, what is she doing? So guys, I love that this is so thinly cut. I'm gonna grab a roast pork. My favorite piece for the roast pork are the end pieces. Actually for any barbecue. It's like a 
Chinese style burnt end, you know, Cheers. if it can focus somehow. There you go. Oh my goodness. You see that edge piece, all the crisp, all the burntness, all that char. Oh. All right. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my God, look at that piece. All you need is a hot bowl of rice, maybe a little bit of shoyu, mm. and you're set. Meal on its own. Look how <laughs> thick the crust is on that cross section, guys. This is what I think of when I think of roast pork. Oh, a layer of meat, a layer of fat, a layer of crispy skin. Oh. Do you guys see that nice and buttery oil coming out of there? It's all flavor, baby. Look at that. Ooh, looks so good. That's my favorite. Mm. Mm. Oh, man. So the minimum order here, the lady was telling us, is half a pound for each. So we got half a pound roast pork. And of course, you gotta get char siu when you get Chinese barbecue. And like we said earlier, like Amanda mentioned, pro tip. Dip. But anyway, when you order char siu, make sure you get the fatty piece. Ask them for fat piece or fatty piece. So you can obtain gelatinous glory such as this that's all uh, what the heck flavor and <laughs> fattiness mm. that's what you want oh that's my piece wow fine you can have it you can have it i'm gonna say the end piece is my favorite but i'll give it to amanda Show i like them. the the char it's kind of like uh what's it called like burnt ends yeah like burnt sweet and good look mm. at the back end of that barbecue beauty oh i'll eat the fat piece right here Mm. Oh, mm -hmm. melts in your mouth. Nice Chinese five spice, hint of sweetness. I love that caramelized flavor. And the fatty pieces, if you're thinking it's just a bunch of fat in your mouth, it's not. You mix it in too with some meaty pieces like this one. See, it's all meat. Don't be afraid, just order it, fat piece. Tell them I want the fatty piece. Saw it on Amanda and Felix Eats. That's what they told us to do. So we did it. You won't regret it. And I know that you guys are gonna say, why didn't you guys go to Gina's? Why didn't you guys go to Earl's? Why didn't you go to Foodland? Why didn't you go to Wins Bonito? All those places. Guys, we're doing a Chinese food tour today. So we'll be doing them in the future. Does this not look beautiful or what? This should be what Chinese barbecue looked like. And again, looks the thin pieces. Ooh, saw that oil drop? Thin piece, cheers. Flavored dangle. Mm. This should just be the video. This wraps mm. it up, guys. Come down. So Duck Lee has been here for a super long time. I know a lot of you guys come here and a lot of people love this place. It's always super crowded with the line out the door. So make sure you come early, secure the goods. They accept card now before they were cash only. So pig mm. plus. We also really like getting their plates sometimes. They also have dim sum too. So check them out. They're known for their Chinese barbecue, their roast meats, but they're also known for their plates as well. So shall we head on to spot number two? Yeah, we don't want to spoil our appetite because this next spot is the new kid on the block here at Market City, but they're featuring some awesome noodle dishes. I don't want to ruin it, so let's go and find out. Today, we're checking out a new Chinese restaurant here in Kamuki's Market City called Fun Station. Fun Station. So, um, oh, thank you. Oh, what is it? Oh, it just goes. Thank you. Sorry, like I was mentioning, it's called Fun Station. Fun as in Chinese noodles, like Chung Fun, Chung Fun, Luke Fun, or Chow Fun. Wherever you're from, well, a lot of you mentioned it's pronounced differently. Here in Hawaii, we call it Luke Fun or Chow Fun. Anyway, the thick noodles, the Chinese thick noodles. We did do a video previously. If you do want to check that one out, it was at Lamb's Kitchen in Chinatown. I'll have it linked up in the cards and down in the description. So make sure you check that one out. And fun, fun station, fun story or fun fact is that they actually don't have any menus. It's completely like contactless. So you just use your phone to scan that QR code and then their menu pops up and you just order through there. You can order through the waiter or waitress, but it's very simple. You just order through your phone. Yeah, we're gonna wait for our food to come and people are ordering tea here. So should I order a tea? Maybe as a part of the dessert segment? Hmm. 
wonder what we're getting for dessert. Anyway. Okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves here and focus on the noodles because I'm excited. Okay, it's coming out pretty soon, hopefully. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, okay. Thank you. All right, Foodie Ohana. Our food finally came and we are pretty excited. I mean, right off the bat, everything looks amazing. Everything smells good. What do we get, Amanda? So we each got an entree and then we got an appetizer. This appetizer is intestines. We love pork intestines, especially the deep fried ones. This one has some kind of sauce in it. It just smells so good. If you guys like things that are kind of gamey, this is definitely up your alley. Nice and crisp and fatty as well. And then I got this. This is what they're known for here. It's their flying noodles. It's like a cold style Chinese noodle. There's thick chung fun or luke fun noodles. I think this is shredded cucumber and then some kind of spicy ground pork and peanuts and green onions all over. What did you get? And I got their wooden bucket of rice. No. Just joking. Come on now, Furi Ohana. I'm not that crazy. So I got their recommended crispy spare rib bucket of rice. I will say, I wish there was more rice or it was more filled, but we shall see. Oh, right away, I can smell the vinegariness. It smells like it's gonna be sweet and sour. So far, I will say, I like the theme of this place. Very like rustic, but new feel. I don't know how to explain it. But anyway, let's get into it because we are starving. Cheers. Mm. 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 Not crispy, but I do like the sauce that comes in. It's like a nice soy braise. And the intestines is done right. It's not too gamey. Some places it's very gamey and that like has that, I don't know how to explain it, foul smell, but this is pretty good. Even though it's not as crispy as the ones that we're used to, the flavor is definitely there. It's like a nice light soy braise. Mm -hmm. I do taste like the Chinese spices. Very good as an appetizer or if you just want to order a bowl of rice on the side, mm. I definitely do that one. I think they have this in like, noodles and stuff as well. Definitely try their intestines if you're into that. They did have other things like gyoza and fried chicken too, if you guys want to try that. Now let's get into my mini wooden rice bowl thingy. So the dish I ordered is called crispy spare rib on rice in a wooden bucket. So on the menu, it says that instead of white rice out of a rice cooker and serving it to you like traditionally how you normally would at a restaurant, they cook rice in these wooden buckets. So it looks like they lightly fried it in this uh, sweet and sour smelling sauce. Cheers. Hmm. Just a warning guys, it is spare rib, so make sure you don't bite into it because it's not boneless. There's a bone in there. I do like that sauce though. Sweet and sour. It's kind of like a sweet and sour, almost like Panda Express's Beijing beef. Have you ever had that? But not isn't, as sweet. Isn't spare rib pork though? It's kind of like sweet and sour pork. I wish there was more of that, but it looks like they threw in a lot of mixed veggies in here too. Like this is a potato. Mm. The rice on the bottom is nice and fluffy though. And the sauce from the spare ribs just seeps down into the rice. Let me try the rice. I do like that the rice is very fragrant. It does have a nice jasmine flavor to it. What is this doing in here? Come on. I remember ordering veggies with my order. This looks like there's broccoli, carrots, potatoes. I kind of wish it was just all the crispy pork over rice. Like, that's all I need. I think this would be a really good meal if, like, you're not that hungry. <laughs> like a quick in and out kind of meal. Now, for the restaurant's namesake menu item, the flying noodles, as you can see, the reason they call it that is because it looks like the noodles are floating. <laughs> like, see? This looks like I'm eating it. <laughs> but I'm not. It's just floating there. So our server did mention that in order to drop these noodles ready to eat, you gotta take out the chopsticks one at a time. Guys, I will say that this is hard to mix. <laughs> it ain't easy. Well, I think it also could be because we kind of like was taking pictures and stuff and it might have just hardened, you know, like got cold. Can you take this out? I said that this wasn't gonna be a lot, but oh. Fix it, Felix. You know you can. If anyone ever needs problem solving, hit me up. Oh no, shoot. I got you. This is very Sorry. messy. Sorry guys, you, you are learning with us for the first time, so you won't be a noob when you come here. If you guys decide to come to Fun Station and try the flying noodles, twist this middle thing part out first before you mix it like Amanda did, <laughs> then you can properly mix it. Shall we try some of these landed noodles? 
get it? Because it's not flying anymore. They landed. So I expect them to be very chewy, very delicious. Cheers. Okay, cheers. <laughs> Really refreshing with the cucumber. mixed cucumbers, yo. It tastes kind of like a dandan -dan noodles. I really like the texture of the noodles, and the noodle shape is very interesting. It's like pasta ribbons that are pressed out, and the ground meat filling in there, it kind of reminds me of like meat sauce, but Chinese style meat sauce. It's a hint of spice, same sweet flavors. This is definitely a dish that you should get if you're craving something like more on the cooling side. It's not hot, there's no soup, it's just like a dry noodle dish. It has a lot of flavor. Screw the bowl guys, because it's limiting my eating pleasure. I'm just gonna go for the entire bucket. I oh, wonder the rice is good. Garlicky, sweet, sour flavors. Yeah, that rice is fragrant. What is that? It was cooked in a wooden bucket. I kind of taste that like earthy notes to the rice. Overall, I think if you're looking for like a fun experience, Chinese noodles or Chinese rice dishes, this is definitely a cool place to come. Here in Market City, so super convenient location. Plenty of parking and lots of places to choose from here. And lots of choices for Chinese food. I kind of wish we could have brought some of the char siu and roast pork we bought. Throw it in this wooden bucket of rice here. Oh man. I'd be a happy camper. All right, Foodie Ohana, so we're gonna finish up our flying meal here and we'll see you for the dessert segment. Stay tuned to see what we get. All right, Foodie Ohana, getting a little full, but the show must go on. So we did get some teas to go, so it'll go well with our desserts. And uh, real quickly, oh, my mask, sorry. And real quickly, uh, we just wanted to clarify before we continue on into our dessert segment. The server was kind enough to explain some of the dishes more in depth for us so we could get a better understanding of them. So for example, my wooden bucket rice dish thingy, <laughs> they actually make the rice every morning in a large wooden bucket. That explains the fragrance flavor mm -hmm. of that rice. It was really good. They did take like the care and the thought into making some really fragrant, delicious rice. It is a bit different from what us locals usually eat for rice, but it is definitely very fragrant, very fluffy, and more like, I feel like Chinese style kind of rice, jasmine rice. Um, You know, yeah. honestly, it feels kind of like, um, you know, Vietnamese uh, gum tam, the broken rice, yeah. where it's, you can feel every individual grain of rice. It's not mushed mm -hmm. up like sushi rice or local style rice. But anyway, you gotta try it for yourselves. It's it's worth trying in my opinion. And, uh, and the, the noodles. noodles. Jinx. <laughs> the noodles are not handmade in-house yet because they haven't gotten their machine in yet. It's still being delivered or it's on its way. They haven't gotten it yet, but they do have a specific manufacturer or someone who specifically custom makes their noodles. It is very different, very individual. Very signature to them. Yeah, we did find out also that the owner is local. It's a locally owned and operated business and this is the first one. So very first ever here in Hawaii. <laughs> if you guys want to come down, check out what flying noodles are all about, check out Fun Station. Make sure you get them before they fly away. Oh, and come early too because it's like about five o'clock and it's really, really, really busy now. Let's continue. Let's go guys. Dessert segment. We're here, Foodie Ohana, at uh, Kapiolani Park. This isn't Kapiolani. Yes, it is. Anyway, we are here, Foodie Ohana, at Kapiolani Park. Uh, we did get teas to go. Did we mention that already? Yes. We. I didn't say which one this is, though. It is Hong Kong style lemon tea. I think it's black tea with lemon. It's really good, nice and sweet. Honestly, it tastes kind of like Lipton lemon iced tea. <laughs> kind but of, but. More stronger. For dessert, as you guys seen, we went to a place called Donut King. How can you say no to a place that's the king of donuts? So the first thing we got is actually our favorite thing at Donut King, which are these. Ooh. Do you let, see these? Don't let these little buggers fool you. No. These, what they call mini croissant. Mini croissant. Ow. <laughs> mm. 
Mm. Do yourselves a favor, get these. It was so good. Amanda didn't even show you guys the cross section. So what it is, it's little croissant bites that they cut into these little rectangles and then it's glazed all over. It's super yummy. It is pretty sweet though. The thing about these is you can't stop eating it. Guys, if you're going to a donut shop, you ain't worried about it being too sweet. Mm. Look at the layers of these bad boys. I like these more than I like the donut holes. They're so dangerous too, because they're bite-sized. You're just gonna keep popping them in your mouth, so we have to put them away. And it's super affordable. For half a dozen, it's like only $3, and a dozen's only like $6. We brought it to a friend's party last time when it was Super Bowl. It was gone before anything else at that party. <laughs> before the entrees were gone. Like people were still eating entrees. They saw those bad boys out on the table. They ate them before they finished eating their plate of food. Mm -hmm. That's how good they were. Be a hero, order the croissant donuts at Donut King. Donut King is also known because they have fancy donuts like this one that we got. Ta-da! It's a maple bacon donut. They do have cake donuts and fried donuts like this. And filled donuts. Oh, and filled donuts. They have a wide variety of donuts. It's just we went a little bit late. And I was in a fashion. Yeah, he had work today. But I did hear that they just opened a store in Waikiki near Marukame Udom. What? So if you guys are in Waikiki, head down to that location or they have a location in Kailua as well. Oh, did I ever tell you I love maple? <laughs> so the best part about a maple bacon donut is it's like breakfast in a handheld concoction. I mean, you got everything. You got your proteins, you got your sweetness, you got your carbs. Don't mind if I do. Whoa, whoa, it's deceptively light. <laughs> oh, chocho lip action again. Mm -hmm. Oh, dang. Mm. Whoa, this is so light and fluffy. The bacon is a little on the smoky side for my liking. I like it if it was just salty bacon. The donut itself is good. Ooh, gotta chase it with some black tea. And guys, we wanna know what your favorite donut Flavor. <laughs> My favorite is, don't laugh at me, it is a bit childish, but I really like sprinkled donuts. <laughs> you do know sprinkles have no flavor, right? I just like it because it's cute. I guess it's iconic looking. My favorite would have to be the classic glazed donut. I just like a glazed donut. Like, give me fried dough, give me some icing on top. That's all I need. That's all I want. OG style. We do frequent Donut King quite often when we're craving donuts. So. Yeah. Highly recommend, especially the location at Market City. Plenty of places to get dinner and then your dessert or breakfast and lots of parking. So Foodie Ohana, this wraps up today's episode of the Chinese food tour in Market City, Kamuki. Yeah, actually donuts aren't really Chinese, but forgive us for that one. <laughs> Doesn't matter, dessert's dessert. There's never <laughs> a wrong time for donut. Every culture has their donut. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for coming along on today's food adventure. We had such an awesome time taking you along at Market City and showing you some of the onalicious Chinese food that they got. If you like this type of content, if you like watching us, give this video a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Join our Foodie Ohana. It's free. It's the easiest way to support us and you'll be constantly updated about our lives and our video uploads so hit that subscribe button like this video and we'll see you guys on the next one all right foodie ohana take it easy explore your inner foodie we'll see you on the next one Bye, peace guys. out oh you guys are still here foodie ohana you must be real fans of the channel <laughs> anyway if you are and you're still here let us know would you like us to start a patreon we have been really considering it patreon will be perfect if you guys want to see more of us or if you just want to know what's going on in our lives and it's just simple updates here and there, definitely let us know in the comments if you would want to join our Patreon. Yeah, let us know because we're honestly considering it and... Yeah, we're trying to save up for a wedding as well. So let us know. <laughs> if you have any suggestions about weddings, let us know about that too. All right, That's it. <laughs> this for real this time. Peace out. Okay. So for our first stop, Duckling. Oh. <laughs> the sun <laughs> cars backing up sorry guys busy area busy area so duke duke at chinese is it pork intestine or beef intestine well, i don't think it's beef oh oh goodness amanda needs the um the baby piece the, the children's <laughs> chopstick to hold it the rice is very fragrant fried good okay guys well, we're gonna finish up our flying meal here all right guys so we're gonna
We love donuts. So much so that I had to move forward to tell you guys.